Now today we're going to be talking about how the Eagles 4 are taking over as the new Master Strikers. Now I don't mean that they are just replacing them now, but all four of them are shaving into the four Master Strikers of Loki, Noel Noah, Chris Prince, and Levinho. Now if you don't know the Eagles 4, it is Asagi, Batra, Chigiri, and Kunigami as revealed in the latest chapter, Chapter 213 of their new group name. These four were the pillars of Team Z during the first selection and they all currently continue to thrive in their own roles. I think they are getting closer and closer to reaching the top heights of Blue Lock and it looks like their play styles are starting to look a lot similar to the Master Strikers. Now we have not seen Snuffy the Clown yet so we do not know who could represent his playstyle yet or if that person is from Team Z so we will leave him out for now. Now let's first start with Asagi and how he's adapting into becoming Noel Noah. Now we know that Asagi has looked up to Noel Noah since he was a kid and even watched his plays and studied them as a child. He then went out in games as a kid to become a striker just like him and one day play in the World Cup. He now joins Moon Chen where Noel Noah is the master striker and gets to learn from him every day. His logic and rational playstyle really fits Moon Chen and his potential is through the roof, as he also has a rival in Kaiser whose playstyle also matches him. Asagi at first was trying to find a way to devour Noel Noah, but he could not predict an image that could defeat him. Then when he does find a clear image to beat him, his body cannot keep up with the speed it takes to get past him. After the Manshine match, Asagi has been working on his physicality tremendously and he now has better skill in dribbling and speed, and his strength is good now too. Noel Noah is known as a cyborg and is mechanically gifted on all fronts. Asagi has a lot of work to do to become an ideal version that is even better than Noel Noah, but first he has to get through Kaiser. Many people are saying that Asagi will end up with a playstyle like Noel Noah, but a mindset like Ego. This makes perfect sense as Noel Noah has said that he reminds him of Ego and that he sees why Ego chose him. Right when Asagi was starting to get activated in the Manshine match, Noel Noah even says that he must not let the bad moments break him and that he may have found the ticket that could lead straight to him. Asagi now has a new lefty shot and can shoot with both legs just like Noel Noah. Both of them really do think alike and Noel Noah even teams up with Asagi because he was playing the most logically. I think as the series continues we will see more of Asagi's development physically and he will even get closer to becoming the next Noel Noah. His potential is incredible and his playstyle is adapting to embody the Master Striker that we have seen play. The build up for Asagi is foreshadowing his evolution and becoming like Noel Noah based off of the time we have seen him spend in Muchen. He goes to Noel Noah for questions and is constantly watching him even now to see what parts of his game can he take to add to his. Asagi is the king of adapting his skills from others and this will continue to happen as we see him always looking for the next way to increase his skills. He is someone who loves the competition and is prepared to go through any obstacles to win. He is not intimidated or nervous anymore around star players because he knows just how special he can be and also wants to hit that level as well. Then we have Chigiri and how he is adapting into becoming Loki. Now Loki is by far the fastest player we have seen in the Blue Lock series and Chigiri is also known as a speed demon. We have not seen all of Loki's skills yet and he is only 17 years old but is the master striker for PXG and a world class player already. Chigiri really is transitioning into Loki due to his body revolution with Chris Prince. He can now hit faster strides at speed just like Loki and pretty much hit short turns and reach new levels. He also earned his new secondary weapon the 44 golden zone that gives him his own shooting spot to score almost every time. His playstyle is looking more like the Loki we have seen previously and his development still continues for that and in the latest chapter he even says that he wants to improve his speed and cuts to level up his golden zone. I have no doubt that Loki also has his own shooting zone as well and we get to see that in the future when he enters the game. I wonder just what happened when Chigiri and Loki faced off after the second selection and how did he respond from that going forward. Now we know that no one scored a goal against the world class players except for Rin and Shido but it makes you think that after that game that Chigiri also noticed the path of Loki and is adapting to that playstyle as well. Chigiri has always been the speed demon of Blue Lock and continues to improve on that. His development of speed and cuts has allowed him to become a top player in Blue Lock and definitely deserved for it. Chigiri has always had a good ego to match his playstyle and his top speed is still better than all of the players in Blue Lock. For him to now have other competition in speed raises the awareness that he still needs to level up on his game to become a better player. It's crazy how far he has come due to first not even wanting to play due to the scarcity of injuring his leg again, but his newfound inspiration was created from seeing Asagi's passion for the game. He has changed since the beginning of Blue Lock and I can't wait to see more of Chigiri as Manshine still has to play more games in the NEL. Chigiri is a player that you put on the side and let him take over that side of the field. With his new skills he can pose a huge threat and will be dangerous if he gets even more speed. Loki is a prime example of how great speed can be and even if you can read their moves your body still cannot keep up with the speed that they are going at. If Chigiri continues to improve on this path he will no doubt be the next up and coming Loki. Now for Kunigami I have him adapting to becoming Chris Prince. Now Kunigami was put in the wild card to become the next Noel Noah, but he is not up to par on Noah's skills and does have the physique for it but I think his skills would have been better suited on a team like Manshine, where Chris Person's body revolution would have helped him more. 
Noel Noah does have amazing talents, but he also has a rational and logical play style that fits for him. Funagami has a more egotistical style of play that gets in the way of Moon Chan, and I think with someone like Chris Prince, who thrives off of improvement in your body, it could have really worked for Kunigami. I still think that Kunigami is going into this route more than Noel Noah due to his constant training still of weights and muscle than just soccer. Towards the end of the Manshine match, we did not see Kunigami much at all as Chris Prince and Noel Noah joined the game. Chris focuses on a healthy body and how that can harbor the madness to change the world. Prince also talks about how your talent can wither away if you train your body incorrectly and your talent will then disappear. Kunigami even tells Asagi how his body could become imbalanced if he tried to copy Kunigami's workout routine. They even speak the same when it comes to body development. Kunigami has had an interesting build up since we have first seen him and he's a completely different person since entering the wild card. His physique is probably the best in blue lock and he's the most comparable to Chris Prince. I can see him becoming just like Chris Prince based off of his own body revolution and he also even plays like Chris Prince in a way. They both have insane physical ability to rough up anyone they come in contact with and have a great stance defensively and won't allow players to just slip by them. Chris Prince is also about being the new hero and Kunigami once was the hero type after all. These two have amazing physical ability and their stats are all through the roof because of that. Now Chris Prince is the world's number 2 striker under Noel Noah and I think Kunigami will become the number 2 striker under Asagi as well. Chris Prince admits he cannot beat Noah logically so he tries to win illogically. Kunigami also has an illogical play style that mixes in with Moon Chen's style of play. They really are similar in their own crazy way and I think Kunigami is only getting closer to becoming just like him. Last but not least we have Batra and how he's adapting to becoming the next Lavino. I think this is a no brainer as Batra had probably the most unique play style and dribbling pattern we have seen in Blue Lock currently. His monster like presence and the way he carries the ball is amazing and going to Spain where they thrive in creativity was going to easily help him. In the latest chapters he even says that he wants to see how effective his new dribbling skills are against top opponents. He knows his weapons and his primary skills are from dribbling. Lavino tells Batra that the creativity of what player you want to become comes from you and he cannot teach that. He plays football where you improvise at the moment and this fits Batra perfectly. He has always been an instinct type of player and we have never seen him need to think when playing. Batra even says what he trusts the most isn't logic but instinct. He lets his monster guide him to the top of the world's best and like Lavino, he also goes against top opponents and makes a flashy display of his skills. Batra's impact on Team Z was huge as he always came in and make a sudden and flashy move with his skill set. He always had his monster with him and had some rough spots but always evolved and stick to his original routes of creativity. He is slowly becoming a player like Lavino who makes others look like dancers on the field with his dribbling. His image has to be that of the best of the world and he needs to be able to see that for himself. He is like a dancing bee and even created a freestyle chemical reaction with Otoya who would match his rhythm. It's no doubt that Batra can easily become the next Lavinho and he was able to score on that Uber's high defensive team that allowed him to become the third top player in blue lock currently. Batra just does whatever he wants and Spain's carefree environment allows his originality to bloom. The choice of going to Barca definitely helped him out and he will continue to evolve into the next Lavinho and his skills will as well. Well these are the Eagles 4 and they all have their amazing skills and the prime examples of the next generation. These 4 have been constantly going at it and to see them all reunited once again really is amazing. They all went their separate ways to improve their skills but we will see them all again once we get to see the World Cup but the games will really matter then. The Master Strikers are amazing and there will be up and coming players to take over those spots eventually. These 4 have the potential to do so and many other players in Blue Lock do as well. Only time will tell just how far they can go but each person has their own strengths and are now coming up with secondary skills to complement them. Do you guys think these 4 are adapting to become the Master Strikers or is there someone better who would fit into the category? I think all of their main skills are at least potent of the Master Striker skills and their playstyles continue to evolve and get closer to the Master Striker's playstyles. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Well, I thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will be back in the next one. Peace.